Hi, I'm David Smythe. I'm the senior partner for RPC in Asia. Hong Kong has very much been the window of the world for China in a business sense. Over the years, it's seen considerable foreign direct investment pass through Hong Kong into China, and more recently, it has been the conduit for investment from Chinese companies outside of the mainland. Hong Kong has also been the leading capital market in recent years in respect of capital raising. Many of the new entrants on the capital markets in Hong Kong are companies with their business in mainland China. Many of these have been incredibly successful, but a number haven't been quite what they seem. This has led to increased scrutiny on the part of regulators and others into the activities of the sponsors and all those other professionals who've been involved in bringing those companies to market. The Hong Kong government is keen to ensure that there is strong independent regulation that is worthy for one of the world's leading international financial centres. The Securities and Futures Commission has been very much leading the charge in this respect. In the absence of any class action regime or any other procedural redress for group um, litigation, the SFC has been pushing the boundaries of its powers in order to obtain redress for investors. The government is also keen to in improve independent regulation in respect of other industries and professions. For instance, it has recently introduced a new independent insurance authority which will have a responsibility for looking after the affairs of all aspects of the insurance industry, whether it be insurers, brokers, agents or other intermediaries. It's also in consultation for the introduction of independent regulation for the auditors of listed companies. And it wouldn't surprise me to see there being a clamour for other independent regulation for other professions and industries down the line. What this means is that there is clear need for effective due diligence in the IPO process on the part of all those involved in the process, whether it be sponsors or any of the other professionals. Recent experience has also meant that insurers offering DNO insurance have been subject to increased exposures and this is likely to continue way into the future.